guys, welcome back to the Crib Sheet uh, and welcome to this new episode. Uh, today on set we have a very special guest, but before we go to the guest, my name is Carol and my name is Sheila and we have a very special guest today on set and she will be talking to us about uh, raising a child with special needs um, and doing it as a single parent. So, um, one boy, Murore, Karibu Sana. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> Are you excited about today? Uh, kinda. Okay. Kinda. Hopefully, we'll, as we get there, um, as, as the show progresses, maybe okay. the excitement will kick in a bit more. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So, just as an introduction, because it needs to be stated, I am one boy, Murore, and I am a single parent, and I co-parent with Chimwani. Chimwani! Yes. <laughs> Our boy. The boy. <laughs> How does he introduce himself? The son Chime of Wanga. Of oh, the, of the, of the, <laughs> oh, we'll miss that today. Anyway, okay. yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. 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 So tell us, Omboi, mm-hmm. uh, we'd be very interested to hear about your story. How it started, um, your, your parenting journey, uh, raising uh, a child with special needs. Tell us a bit about your story. Oh, okay. Um, so... It begins just, you know, normally you're pregnant. There wasn't anything major with the pregnancy. And I state that because one of the things when you're going through the diagnosis is they ask you, did you have a normal pregnancy? So my pregnancy was very normal. I don't remember anything particularly jarring about it or tiredness or anything like that. It was just a normal pregnancy. Um, But the one thing that I do remember, so keep in mind that this is not... Uh, me recalling as I went along, it's now yeah. when you get into the diagnosis part is when you're, you're picking up things mm-hmm. is when now you start remembering that all oh, this happened and this happened. Yeah. So I, I remember that um, when he was born, he was the quietest baby in the world. Like oh, wow. he didn't cry. Every other mm-hmm. child was crying and he didn't cry. So he didn't so, even, did he... There's normally that first cry. That first cry, no, it was, it, he wasn't, he didn't mm. cry that loudly or that long. It was yeah. just, he was just wiggling. He was a wiggly mm. baby. So, yeah. And since we were discharged, it, it, it didn't strike me as particularly odd. Um, so I will say that when we started noticing that there were problems mm-hmm. is when he didn't walk. So that's so like, like a, over a year later? Yes. Uh, no, actually, like mm-hmm. past a year is when you're noticing every time he stands, he falls. Mm. So now we'll be like, maybe there's a problem. Um, so that was the beginning of the journey. Not the beginning of the diagnosis, the beginning of the journey. Oh, okay. Because by that time now, you see his idea, he hasn't walked. Um, so then now you start tracing which other milestones has he missed. Mm, um, yeah. So now you start, you start with the, um, from there, it was maybe, did he delay sitting? Did he mm. delay walking? So then the first, so the diagnosis came in steps. The first step was discovering that he had a problem with his leg. Mm -hmm. So we had to do what is called casting of the leg and Mm -hmm. wearing correction of the foot so that it stands properly. Mm -hmm. So we corrected the foot um, and then, you know, we were like, okay, maybe it's just a foot. So let's Mm -hmm. see if more milestones come. But by that time, because now the doctors are on high alert is when they're like, okay, so you need to check for this, you need to check Mm -hmm. for that. So when we done the foot, um, we noticed now he... We started noticing sensory aversion, what's called sensory aversion. And sensory aversion is when a child doesn't like certain stimuli. So in his case, we Mm -hmm. fix the feet, but he Mm -hmm. didn't want to step down Mm -hmm. because he's feeling like the feet are too sensitive. So that was when we started noticing, okay, fine, maybe there's more of an issue. Um, So now we go to sensory aversion. He's, He's now like, what, maybe two years Trips mm-hmm. to the barber shop have been ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't like the sensation of the yeah. cutting of the hair. So you know, you're like, okay, these things are yeah, starting yeah, yeah. to add up. Mm-hmm. So now we took the journey to like, so what what, what happened was when we were casting the foot, um, we were told, I think it's time you should visit a um, pediatric psychologist. Mm-hmm. So that, that's what they were called. So we took her and now this is when she started. So now what I'm telling you now, she starts asking you questions. Uh She does a checklist. So when you're doing the interviews, when you're noticing, oh, this didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So the walking didn't happen on time. The, did he uh, cool on time? Did Mm -hmm. he hold his head up on time? Did he potty train even a little bit? Did he? So now 
mainly we got the word autism yeah. at around uh, two and a half years is when now we got wow. the word autism. Yeah. And I must admit, when I heard the word autism, I was like, nah. So what you're dealing with right so me to me mm. I was like so there's the leg thing which was we were told maybe is a form of CP on, on the left side of like okay fine I can deal you with can CP. Deal with that, yeah. The sensory aversion oh cerebral palsy. Mm, okay. So cerebral palsy is is mainly um caused due to lack of oxygen. So maybe mm. the lack of crying may, may have contributed mm-hmm. to that. Um, so it interfered with especially his, his motor on his ah. left side. So his left side is a bit weak. Mm. So I was like, ah, we can work on that. We can do therapy yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. And then mm. the sensory aversion, we were like, okay, fine. We can do therapy on that. It's, it's just sensory aversion. Mm. So now you start the process of um, looking for a therapist who you can work with. Mm-hmm. So now she was like, we need to do a lot of therapy to get him to accept stimuli so yeah rubbing his head so that he can as- accept you know head stimulation uh, rubbing his feet giving him massages giving mm-hmm. him all that just to get him to a point where he's not tense every time every time, every yeah. time he, you hold him or something mm-hmm. like that so but at that point in time now the more you're going on and the more you're so maybe now we are at um three and a half years old so we are here he's learning how to walk properly yeah. now you take him to school and then now when you're in school is when the teachers tell you it's not just one thing it's mm. you can you can tell that maybe he's not playing with other children you can tell that he's not um mm-hmm. at the level of other children yeah, kids, yeah. so this is when you notice that because you know like uh cp if you if you have cp but uh, a lot of the brain function is not interfered with then you still achieve other milestones okay. mm-hmm. so um and with sensory aversion all the other milestones are going but you yeah. see now when you bring in autism and and that's why most people tell you that autism is a spectrum mm-hmm. autism can affect a lot more functions than just one yeah um what is it called one other types of mm-hmm. disabilities. So autism affects speech, autism affects mm. communication, autism yeah. affects interaction with other people, autism affects um, sensory issues, affects mm-hmm. sensitivity to food. Food, food is such a big oh, deal wow. with children with autism. Yeah. Um, affects toileting, affects mm-hmm. um, sleeping. The children who don't sleep because they're autistic affects, wow. um, yeah. yeah, so it affects a lot. A lot yeah. So that's why when you hear the word autism, the first thing you, you go is into denial is because oh, you're like, yeah. my child does not resemble any other child I've seen around yeah. here. So my child can't be autistic. Can't be, yeah. he's, he's not as bad as it is. Yeah. So that, that was the initial denial. But now as time goes by and, and you, mm-hmm. I, I must say that getting a very good therapist who helps with the interventions, yeah. Then you start to see progress. You start to see progress and then you start to notice the other areas that yeah. are not being met. And then maybe it and becomes guess, yeah. a gradual acceptance mm-hmm. of the term that your son is yeah. autistic. Because yeah. it definitely took a while. It took a while to accept, um, to get maybe, I think maybe when he was like five is now, he was like, okay, fine. He's autistic. This is it, yeah. He is autistic. You oh, mingle with other children. Yeah. You... Um, I think it was very good that I, I, I had access to a lot of online yeah. support. So you mm-hmm. meet with other children. And unfortunately, you compare children to like, yeah. okay, mine, at, at, at least he's going to the toilet. At least he's yeah. going to the toilet. At least he's walking. At least he's, you yeah. know, so you go like that to so give yourself a lot of sight yeah. that things are being met and things are happening. And, yeah. and so you get more hope as the, yeah. as the journey as progresses. progresses. Yeah. Oh wow, that's 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 heavy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm even wondering, even between um, you know that whole journey, especially now. So before you actually now had the word autism the first time, mm-hmm. and you say that was like two, two and a half, two and a half years. Three of them, yeah. Um, were you at any point, you know, the way kids compare, I mean, parents compare kids mm-hmm. to kids, mm-hmm. where you're you're looking at other kids in the neighborhood and you're like, okay, this child is now speaking, and I don't know about you, Sheila, but I remember I used to compare my son with other kids, mm-hmm. and I'm like gosh, he's taking too long to, you know, to speak. He's, he's not interacting with the rest of the kids. He's not doing ABC. So is I, there that kind of comparison? I, I did do the comparisons. And mm-hmm. I did do the comparisons in terms of even, I remember being at a friend's house and I asked her auntie, I was like, mm-hmm. are you seeing anything that I'm not seeing? Because I was told she was a pediatrician. It's like, no, 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 there's nothing wrong. 
Oh, so wow. I was like, wow, well, okay, fine. I'm the one who's being, Your yeah, yeah, being yeah. an overreactive <laughs> mother. First time yeah. mother. So I was like, okay, yeah. fine, I'm going to calm it down. Yeah. But yes, there's a comparison. There's yeah. the whole then you're told, ah, this is the one of the most damaging things. Mm-hmm. Boys develop slower than girls. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. So you yeah. yeah. just relax. Yeah, you relax. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You catch it's up. a boy. Yeah. You yeah. catch up. Yeah. They they yeah. do these things later. Only for you now to go to the hospital. And then you're like, no, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. And you're like, you see, everybody's scared. I'm like, yeah. okay, why are you getting scared? Yes. And yet you mm-hmm. could have yeah. told me yeah. this yeah. earlier. So. But I'm also actually really wondering as well, can this not be caught earlier? Or, I mean, uh, yeah. It depends on the child. And, and mm. let, me you, let me tell you why it depends on the child. Mm-hmm. A lot of parents who have autistic children will mm-hmm. tell you something called regression. Uh, regression is something that happens like your child is hitting all the milestones everything uh, everything, 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 everything okay until uh, two years then they lose everything all slows they down they no not slow down lose it completely yeah oh my so goodness, you'll have a child yeah. who was potty trained they lose it the child who was bubbling they lose it the child who maybe was didn't have sensory issues the sensory issues come in yeah so and that's oh, even wow. more heartbreaking because yeah, the wonder seen, and, yeah. and that's why even like I'll, I'll say this i don't know if i'm supposed to say this the theory of autism is called by vaccines mm-hmm. by because mm-hmm. you'll notice it immediately after the child has had all their shots mm-hmm. so that's your first oh yeah like when they finished all the vaccinations at 18 months is mm-hmm. when you'll be like why did they regress yeah. and the first answer is it was all those vaccinations but it was wow. simply that yeah. they had the form of autism which caused a regression. Oh, and, wow. and, and, and I'm grateful yeah. that we've never had a regression. Any yeah. milestone that is attained, mm-hmm. he's, he's kept, kept it. it. Yeah. Yeah. He's kept okay. it. Yeah. Okay. So how did you walk that journey? How did first that time mom, um, <laughs> never been a mom before. And yeah. First of all, you're trying to deal with the issue. First of all, maybe I should ask this okay. question. Okay. Were you... Uh, were you in, in a partnership at that point? Or were you alone? At what point mm. did our Mr. Uh, Mr. Oh. Obia, Obianjo or Obianjo oh. or who? Obianjo. Obianjo. As you insist on being called. Uh, um, yeah. Her. So that's the complicated part of, of our history. I, I think mm-hmm. that just needs to be stated. Um, because after my son was born, the relationship wasn't quite working, mm. so we weren't in the same household. Mm. So I, I must say that <clears throat> a lot of the times I was alone doing yeah. this. Um, so when you're doing this on your own, now my go-to mechanism when I have a problem is I read. Yeah. And I think that's what saved my sanity. Mm. Because immediately I got diagnosis number one, he's not walking. Oh, actually the term used was <clears throat> everted foot. Mm-hmm. Google everything you know about it. What yeah, yeah, it yeah, what yeah, needs yeah. to be done, what cast it, yeah. who can I talk? That was the yeah. mechanism. The next time I got to the next diagnosis, sensory dis- sensory um, processing disorder. You go back Google, Google. It. You, This is what is happening. <laughs> this is, for yeah. Exactly. You read everything, you go to the site. Exactly. Yeah. So by the time I got autism now, I'm like, oh, spectrum disorder. Okay, fine. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> Spectrum disorder. This is what it entails. This is what it has. This is what are the levels. Mm. So it. I ended up knowing a lot. A lot, yeah. In this point yeah. in time, and that's yeah. how I coped. Yeah. Because I was like, the more I know, the, the more I can seek you, yeah. intervention. The yeah. more I can help. Yeah. Yeah. But now exactly. I'm also wondering. Uh, you're you're a mom. First of all, you have to. I, I don't know how you dealt with it, but I'm thinking. First of all, you're here. You're a mom. You have to deal with being a new mom mm-hmm. without a man. Mm-hmm. And now you've discovered that you have a child with special needs. Did you have a support system around you? Or how did you, you know, how, mm. how like, did you navigate through that process? I had a f- close family, f- close family mm-hmm. and close friends who I remember talking to a lot about it at this time. Um, so I have what is called like my very close circle of people who helped me with this journey. Yeah. Um, so one of them is a friend of mine. Who he and his wife, like his wife's brother was autistic when she was growing up. Mm. So she'd seen it. Yeah. So her mom now really talked to me and told me, you see, I've raised my boy. He's now a ah. big man. You Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will get there. Yeah. You just have yeah. to do the steps. And I mm. must admit that helped because okay. she's, um, <coughs> sorry, she's a person who has really taken it upon herself mm-hmm. to help her son. 
to the point that um which is something i'll constantly ask myself if 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 it gets to the point will i be able yeah. to like her son is now married oh wow and she has two kids wow. and i'm like wow like, okay, like that is cool like yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> the milestones and now and and it's so oh, amazing yeah. and the yeah. fact of matter is the children are neurotypical so you're like so it's not genetic it's not, it's, genetic. It's not something yeah. you pass on yeah, yeah exactly so that gives you hope like okay, seeing how watching watching that yeah. so i must admit uh my friend's mom just taking me through that process yeah was a really really big help yeah. um okay. and then now just so the other thing about being a parent of a child who has autism is autism and, and a lot of special needs mm-hmm. are insulated hidden from the society mm-hmm. so you find that a lot of autism parents complain of loneliness like they can't socialize like the things you're yeah. used to doing you can't do anymore, anymore. Yeah. playgrounds those are sensory oh, yeah. rich places yeah. they're too noisy yeah. the children will scream he's scared of the slides you can't go to the play park mm. you know um restaurants oh my god i, I don't do restaurants up up no wow no no i don't why because of the noise around it's not even the noise like... how will you sit and have a meal mm. um yeah. so we don't do restaurants I, i think we started doing restaurants with play parks when maybe he was like eight or something like that yeah mm. um wow. so being in places that are friendly for him was my biggest concern yeah. because i understood i don't want to be lonely so True. i'm like exactly. where am i going that yeah. where we are welcome we having fun yeah. you know people understand exactly. him mm. that was one of my biggest priorities but I, i must say that um so first two things bef- autism and aversion to food a lot mm. of parents struggle with that mm-hmm. because one food is really sensory like for a child to accept a banana it's they feel it's too soft or oh. or oh, wow. a snack it's too hard or you oh. know or even yeah. chewing oh my god chewing chewing is a problem so most mm-hmm. of the time you're mashing food so you find that a lot of oh. autistic children mm-hmm. are very very picky very picky yeah. like if they eat one food like there's yeah. this meme i remember autism mom sharing mm-hmm. um sorry parents of autistic children yeah. uh sharing <laughs> uh sharing yeah. and they were like when you find a child a, a snack your child likes and you see somebody in the supermarket with over 100 bananas <laughs> you want to cuz you're like them, right? i just want <laughs> yeah. to no i just need my child yeah. to eat something yeah, so i'll I buy know. it repeatedly yeah. exactly. so so that you know you go to a restaurant and most children's menus chips and sausage mm-hmm. yeah he exactly he does not eat oh, so what does he eat yeah. yeah. like potato he likes noodles and rice Oh wow. So oh. we go to a restaurant later on like when he was like 7 8 years old we go to a restaurant and like give me a plate of plain white rice. That's all I need. And then most people go like, yeah they'll be like really Why? no soup just no soup no yeah. soup no spices <laughs> no pilaf I'm like yeah. please as in let's just not argue plain yeah. white yeah. rice. Yeah. Hash and eat what she's eating but him just plain, plain white rice. rice. Yeah. And now you get to understand and and you see a lot of people now because are becoming more accommodative than I can make that order of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um and the other thing is now when you're choosing and I see that's what most parents of autistic children struggle with their social mm. isolation because for most people church is a comfort. You can't go to church. Churches tend to be very loud and yeah, very yeah. Yeah, yeah. um procedural and the child will not sit mm-hmm. so you keep on walking around in church yeah. and you're just like that's it's too much it's not yeah. for me it's not for me um so you you abandon that so where are you going to socialize where are you going to meet other parents yeah. where are you going to meet other children because they still need they to socialize with yeah. friends yeah, yeah so exactly. where are you going to meet them um i'm very grateful that at some point in time those an organization organizing like outings for autistic mm-hmm. children so you meet at a point in town and then you go to a school mm-hmm. and then the children of the school have been briefed mm-hmm. okay. on yeah. like spending the day with the children mm-hmm. so instead of you running around with your child there are like you two children ah, and they're oh, hanging out that's so good that. for yeah. like a morning i just mm-hmm. sit and like, i know i am enjoying <laughs> sitting today yeah. so it's it's yeah. it's good so i must say that just picking picking my battles which yeah. battles I'm fighting because I'm very picky about which battles I fight yeah. I don't true eh, yeah. there, there are too many that I pick which one I can fight yeah. and then we move on from there is a big mm. help because yeah. 
and then oh, i don't wow. give myself a lot of pressures i know he has a long way to go yeah but i mean he's come from so far so yeah true. so you take a, yeah, a day at a time yeah. to celebrate i think i'd like doing. to take you back to the um, to the communities okay because i'm sure there are other listeners who are listening mm-hmm. and uh probably that's what they're going through so how mm-hmm. did you identify those communities is there anything online that um you I, i know we have a community for moms mm-hmm. we talk about buying yeah. diapers mm-hmm. yeah. is there one for the um you call them parents with uh, parents of autistic children, of autistic yeah. children. Mm-hmm. so where do, can people find them and then mm-hmm. i also want you to touch on uh schooling because mm-hmm. i'm sure right yeah. now it goes to school oh, yes, so does. how do you <laughs> identify the best school for, yes. for okay. your son okay yeah. um community uh community is a bit hard because it it takes an organization that understands autism for them to facilitate the community mm-hmm. um the one i i don't know if they are still operating on the one i mentioned where they used to do like days out every mm-hmm. month mm-hmm. i don't know if they're still operating because covid really hit us hard yeah. uh but there, there's something like that i know there's i'm trying to remember the names of all the organizations because some are just for informational purposes some are just for um like that one was specifically to help children um you know just have a day out i think it was being it they're all non profits mm-hmm. um but definitely just being online and talking to someone and then you're connected with another person yeah. and then you exchange notes it definitely helps but what i would say is is there a lack of community yes because I find that because I'm more open about my journey every time I meet a parent and they're like yeah. can I ask you questions I'm like yes ask me questions yeah. because mm-hmm. I am farther out on this journey if you're mm-hmm. like your child is like 3 years old yeah. I know you're in the thick of things you're wondering oh my god what will I do yeah. I try I try by speaking I think by speaking I can help a bit more people but do I know most people rely on government forums like if the government is having a free camp or the county government mm. is doing this or something like that that's when most people rely on community or even when they're taking their children to therapy in the hospital is when maybe moms will talk yeah. but is there a structured formal way of people to interact no it and and here's the thing um they say that a par- parents of autistic children are the ones to come and form their own community mm-hmm. but autistic children can't bring a vacuum Yeah. they still need to be part yeah, of a society yeah, true, true. so like if a church is welcoming to parents of autistic children and is like during the service you can mm-hmm. have your children somewhere and you can listen yeah. to the service and just mm-hmm. interact that's very welcome if um what what other kinds of social structures do we have if uh i think mostly churches mostly churches yeah. and and mostly like um like a certain oh yes um so there's something i'm a member of a rotary club And Rotary Club does something Rotary District 9212 that is Kenya, Uganda, sorry Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanz, <laughs> South Sudan. Uh we do something every year. It's called the Rotary Sunshine Rally. Mm-hmm. And the Rotary Sunshine Rally is when we organize a fun day out for children with disabilities. Mm-hmm. That is it. It is bring these children from any institution they are in because a lot of yeah. the institutions in Kenya for special needs children are boarding bring them let them have a day let them dance let them sing let yeah, them yeah. eat because they say they don't have that in their communities so you see when you have something organized like that yeah. whereby children with special needs are given their own day to be yeah. the center of attention yeah. and just feel you know like yeah. no one is 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 judging them yeah. no one is excluding them mm-hmm. then that's something like that helps but you see that's yeah. just one day in a year exactly how many more people are doing fun days how many exactly. more people yeah. are doing um you know like but just fun just let them feel like children who are wanted and welcome mm. so is community lacking it is it is it and, and it takes a deliberate part from me to find spaces that are accommodating spaces that are functional mm-hmm. for children because even the other thing is there are a lot of places we can't go because i can already tell it will be a hassle it will be a hassle mm-hmm. if you can't maneuver properly it yeah. will be a hassle if there are no safety guards and he ends up falling if, so you just yes so i was saying that in a setup where does not have accommodations it becomes very hard to socialize so like i'll, I'll give an example there are lots of people who like malls over the weekend mm-hmm. but there are certain I have to be very picky with which mall we are going to 
because if, is it too crowded is it that mm -hmm. we'll pass what's the path to get to where we are going are we going to the jungle gym will you pass by you know like a store where he can grab anything and i'm not aware such things so i have to map our route before we get there so yeah. it's 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 a lot of mentally consuming just to get outside of the house and understand more than ever why there are children who barely leave the estate yeah. no one sees yeah. them yeah. and they're yeah. isolated it's because of how much effort it takes just to yeah. leave the house yeah yeah i think sheila had asked a question on uh, um, on school, school on school yeah. oh, okay Yes, my son goes to school, uh, but the journey for school has been a long. Let me let me not even lie about that. It has been a long one. I think we are now on our eighth, ninth school, and he's ten years wow. old. Ten, wow. ten schools, ten schools. Yeah, um, and it's simply. I, I won't blame the first two. The first two were in the estate and then they closed. Those ones I won't blame them, but mm. you know, you could already see there's a problem. Yeah. But this is how it goes with a school. Hi, I have a child. Would you like to admit them? They're very welcome. Yeah. Are you sure you will be able to handle him? No, bring him. We see if we can handle him. Pay this amount of fees and then we'll see if... if and, and then by the uniform, are you sure? Yes, 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 we can handle him. A week goes by. The child comes home, he doesn't look happy. I'm like, okay, there's something wrong, but I don't know what is wrong. The second week goes by. No, seriously, there's something wrong. The child is agitated, he comes home, he's yeah. screaming, mm. he's hungry, like he hasn't eaten the yeah. whole day. What? And I'm like, wait, I packed food. So what happened? What yeah. happened? And did he eat the school food? Or I was told, don't pack any school food, he'll eat what we have. Yeah. By the end of the month, I'm like, this is not working. I know I paid fees, but, but yeah, my yeah. sanity is more important. So the schools we've done a term. It was a very awesome school before it closed. We did a year. It was, oh, it was really nice. Yeah. Um, I, I, the issue of schools closing is real. Um, private schools close a lot. And here, I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, I wouldn't take my child to um, a, a public school. It's just that I'm saying... Finding schools that work yeah. is very, yeah. very yeah. difficult. Yeah. The, the number of children, I'll give you an example. My son hums because he cannot speak, he hums. Mm. And so you take him to a school and they'll tell you he's being destructive. And I'm like, what do you mean he's distracting? He's yeah. not hitting other children. Yeah, he's not yeah, yeah. Yeah. running around the class screaming. No, but when he gets excited, he hums. And so the other children can't concentrate. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, fine, clearly. Yeah. We can't exist like this mm. so there'll be that and then maybe the, you'll take them to a school and maybe he's not eating and then his mood comes and then he loses weight back to square yeah. one if the yeah. child is not eating if the child is not in a good mood you you start seeing um aggressive behavior like he's yeah. coming home and he's so angry so when he's angry he jumps and flaps so oh, he comes oh, like a whole day he's, yeah. he's steaming so like, okay fine this is not working yeah. i need to switch something I think at some point before the school we got to home, I was like, you know what? He'll stay home for a time. Mm. I'm okay with him staying home for a time. Yeah. Other children can go to school. But right now where I've reached, it's more important for him to be happy and yeah. healthy than for me to know that he's in a school. Mm -hmm. So sure. before I find a school yeah. that I can trust, let him stay home. Yeah. And, th and that's what we did. Um, and, and, and it was a hard decision because I think he was seeing his sister going to school every day. Mm. He's wondering why am I not going to school? But the minute I found the school that works for him, within two weeks, mm -hmm. he's comfortable. Ah. He's happy. You can tell he's happy. He, yeah. You can tell the changes. You can see even his mom, um, what is it called? Enthusiastic about learning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when, when the school is a fit, I stop worrying. I stop worrying yeah. because the school is a fit. Yeah. Yeah. Is it easy to find accommodative school in Kenya? No. You'll go to the online groups. The first question a parent asks, in this area, which school can yeah. I take my child yeah. to? That's the like 80%, 70% yeah. of the questions are right, on education. Schools, yeah. The rest are usually on, on trouble areas like toileting, feeding, mm -hmm. but mostly it's on schools. Yeah. Because it's such a frustrating thing for your child to be the only child at home. Yeah. Or you take your child to school and then they come home with unexplained, what is it called, injuries, and no one told you. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or even the one where I, I think now, I, I don't even know who to blame at this point in time because I was just so angry, is when you go to the school because I rock up impromptu, I don't call, I, I just come yeah. to see the child. Mm -hmm. I find him outside. 
Huh? He's walking around. Everybody else is in class. class. So I'm like, why? What if yeah. he got out of the gate? Yeah. Yeah, what, exactly. what if yeah. he fell into something in mm. the school? What would I do? Mm-hmm. Who would tell yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And those are the instances where oh my gosh. immediately I don't even wait for the next day. The child is out of the school. Because yeah. I'm like, now this is a security hazard. Why is he walking around in yeah. the school alone? Yeah. So wow. so such things and, and I'm not the only parent. Parents mm-hmm. will tell you of you know, if your child is not properly toilet trained, and this is a big issue, if your child is not properly toilet trained, they'll come home known as change them. And wow. it hurts you as a parent. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah. if you've not if no one is taking care of a child, you're like, let me just stay home with them. Mm, true. And and that those are such of the burdens in if you don't find the right school, if you don't find yeah. um, you know, and and you find someone who's willing to accommodate you. And here's where it comes in. There are schools whereby it is just the grace of the teacher and the head teacher to accommodate you and keep your child in that school. Yeah. That's when you continue with the schooling journey. Because it's it it stops being about um that the child will learn you know they will reach all the academic milestones mm. it becomes is the child in school are they accommodated are they happy are they playing yeah. with their peers yeah uh, you know yeah. and and it helps here's the other thing children who are autistic learn from imitation mm. their milestones mm. are so much better mm-hmm. when they are placed with their peers mm-hmm. and it's hard yeah. so they copy i can see when 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 my son um Let's say he's with his cousins, mm-hmm. and then he sees them doing something he likes. Mm-hmm. He'll want to try it once. Ah, is it kicking a ball? He'll want to try and yeah. kick a ball. Is it, uh, he's seen children riding mm-hmm. bikes. He wants to try. Before, you could even put him on a bike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But okay. now, he's willing to hold it and try and yeah. balance, and you can yeah, see yeah. now there's interest. Yeah. So, that ability to socialize with other children mm-hmm. influences how, yeah. how far they can go. But you see, now they are being excluded. Yeah. Yeah. So, now things start taking more time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'd like to yeah. understand the relationship. I know you have a daughter as well, yes. who's younger than yes. than mm. him, right? Yeah. So I think uh, even f- being girls, we're used to taking care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'd like to understand the role she plays with a with a brother, because I'm sure this is someone who'd be looking up to the brother. Mm-hmm. Mm. But then it's kind of the roles have changed. Mm-hmm. So she'd want to hold his hands to make sure. We are moving together. We're doing things together. The relationship is so interesting. This is why he's so protective of her. Oh, wow. You cannot touch that girl oh, wow. without him coming for you. Mm-hmm. I cannot discipline her in his presence. Oh. If I start saying, you have done something wrong, he starts screaming. He starts crying. Wow. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Tell your brother you're okay. Him, tell him, oh, wow. tell him, mommy is not a bad mom. Yes, yeah. but, you know, just calm down, and then we go to another room. I decide this because yeah. how are you doing this? I can't I touch her. I can't. Yeah. yeah. So I can't. So okay, fine. So I can't discipline her in front of you. Fine, fine. Mm. But the other thing is, she looks out for him. Yeah. She's gotten to that age where she's bringing friends to the house, and she's always like, "Come meet my brother." Oh wow. Come meet my. So I have yeah. so many children coming to me and like, um. Will will his her brother talk? And I'm like, one day we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, I want to just walk with him. Can we walk in the estate? Oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Or they come and girls come and hug him. Or the particular <laughs> girls yeah. like some particular <laughs> girls they like. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, but they're trying. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and and so the relationship is is really good. Ha. Huh? The other thing which which I don't I don't know how we are going to get over this is they like sleeping in the same bed. Mm-hmm. And I know mm-hmm. at, at different ages, I'd be told you need to separate yeah. them. And I have tried. Yeah. But it's just that it offers them comfort. Yeah. Being yeah. that togetherness. Together. Yeah. So they like sleeping in the same bed. And it's those ones of he'll um they'll be sleeping in the same bed and and you know, it's like she'll go to another bed, he goes to that bed. Mm. She goes there, she he, he goes yeah. to her bed. So I'm like, okay, fine, it works for them. But the relationship is so good and and yeah. Things like she feels she wants to go places with him. She'll go with him. She'll teach him and yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the he's very protective of her, but she's also very protective of him. Mm-hmm. Like she'll tell you, wow. "Don't do that to my brother." Yeah, he's wow. angry. Don't do that to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they 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 get along really yeah. really well. That's a lovely daughter. I know. <laughs> I know. How how far? Um, ten and three. Sorry, ten and seven. So three. Oh, and three years. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah. Maybe we can now um, move to the. Um, 
to the family support. Okay. Because I think this is just too much for one person. Uh, yeah. Child. <laughs> yeah. 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 Allow me to call it a crisis. It's literally a, it's crisis. a crisis. You don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking you have your side of the family and then we have Chim's side of the family. Uh, what's that support uh, looking like before I even get to the house help because we have oh, house yeah. help. <laughs> that's a holy yeah. 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 no, no, no. yeah. that has been my biggest blessing for the record oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, but before we go to that you asked about family yeah. support um, so we the family support so I I don't think anyone in my family knew what to do so I had to rely on the medical personnel mm -hmm. But do you know that's when Chim's family has medical personnel. Oh. So <laughs> the casting, the his, his cousin did mm -hmm. the casting. Yeah. Um the introductory physio sessions, his cousin did that for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Um and then the therapist that we finally got, his cousin did the intro. Mm -hmm. So that support when I didn't know what was happening and his his cousin is also a pediatric nurse. Oh. So just they were talking to me and they were also talking to him and they're telling him, tell her to do this, tell her to ah, go here, tell her to, you know, just to yeah. get a baseline before I knew what I'm looking for. So go to this hospital, go to this place, look for this service. And then I was like, oh, okay, fine, okay, fine. Yeah. Then I, I knew what I was looking for because the I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I didn't know. What do I know about occupational therapy? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So <laughs> them helping with that was a really big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, On my side... I live with family so the fact that i can get you know like you know um what is it called time off and and just leave the kids and i know they're safe very and, important ah, yeah that that was a big help even when and and here's the other thing even when he was younger he wasn't you know like a handful he wasn't um hyper mm -hmm. so he can stay with other people so that was a was a really good thing yeah, yeah. 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 Um, nannies? The house help. Oh, okay. You can see there's someone who's walking in. That, so that before one, he walks before in, he don't tell us about the nanny. <laughs> the nanny. I am blessed because my nanny has been there since my boy was one year old. Oh, what? She came that whole turned journey. one and we have walked this journey together. Nine years. Toileting, she was the biggest help I have ever had. Feeding, she didn't let him go. Like, Anything I was recommended to be done by the therapist, she was there. She was mm -hmm. implementing it. I think she took it like even her. She's going to help with this. Yeah. this boy. So like even if I ever get like when she goes on holiday and, and somebody comes to step in, mm -hmm. I'm usually like, please don't treat him like a child. Yeah. She didn't treat him like a baby. He's not a baby. He's a big yeah. boy. Just don't treat him like yeah. a baby. Yeah. So the, the nannies, that, I, that was my biggest blessing. If there's anything that has helped maintain my sanity and that I've had the same nanny for the last um, almost nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Wow. And, and, That's and, such a blessing. Yes, and she's yeah. been a very big, big help yeah. to me. I think we should have a session <laughs> where we discuss nannies. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> that is going to be a very hot topic. <laughs> As in long staying <laughs> and then that is and then, oh, yeah. Yeah. And 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 the show. And then comes to their lives <laughs> tomorrow yeah. and we move but, on. Uh, but the, they can be a blessing in our lives. Yeah. Yes. Especially yeah. as single mothers. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, this is where we call Mr. Of yes, Julu. Okay. Yes. Son uh, of Kabaka or son of who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd want to speak somewhere. <laughs> so let's Car 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 Caribou. Okay. Caribou. You know, sit in the yeah, lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since he bulked up. I know. Yeah. 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 You're in trouble. Uh, All yeah. the best. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Hey, I'm saying thank you for having me. I could have here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've no, had a coming. lot, a lot, mm. yeah. and um, it's it's very amazing. And uh, Omboy, gosh, bless you your heart. Well. You mm. and yeah, Jim, thank you for sticking around because we don't have we have people who would stick around and those who would feel that's not it's too much something I'd want yeah. to, to do, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, just sticking around is very important, and you love your children. Yeah, he's right? always a But I didn't have a choice. <laughs> he's my son. I didn't have no, a choice. Well, we well, know men who have a choice. And they choices. chose the other way around. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know. Would you have anything to say? Not really. I remember once uh, on the show saying that. 
the children are really blessed to have her as a mother. Mm-hmm. And that is a sentiment I honestly, I usually tell you that. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because it's, 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 I want you to admit this. Yeah. 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 But you want yeah. to know Mother, that yes, yeah. you tell me this. Honestly, yeah. it's, 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 it's a truth. It's a truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have seen her go through issues and handle them <laughs> like an adult. Yeah. And the interesting thing is there are certain things she won't tell me until she's handled. For example, she gave the example of a school that we had taken Kadari to. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had promised us, they called it an integrated system. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And they just let him wander. And he came back with a chipped tooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And you can imagine how painful Aye. that is. She knows me. We don't do diplomacy <laughs> over here. <laughs> There's no diplomacy. Yeah. Kesi badai. Yeah. It's for deal now, kesi badai. Yeah. yeah. By the time I was finding out, he had, had stopped had going those. there. Yeah. We were now focused more on the conversation of what next. Mm. So wow. this is not a fit. Wow. What yeah. next? Yeah. Mm. And the interesting thing, because you're also asking about uh, our daughter, mm-hmm. uh, Shanisa, about um, how she plays into, like, not just interacting with her brother but looking out for her brother Mm -hmm. and she is the one who came and told us yo this school no Mm. no because when Mm. you started doing your investigation Mm -hmm. i remember the teachers gave you a bit of resistance and shanisa was like no but they don't do anything they just let him run around the school Mm. in fact i have to go get him oh god so that he doesn't wander off into you know when she told us he didn't eat like he did. Yes. Yeah, oh, he came home, no. she didn't eat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So have so, they always go to the same school? Previously I tried yeah. for them to go to the same school. It was I mean it's it's good for siblings yeah, to be together. Yeah. yeah. But I accepted. I actually a teacher had to talk to me and told me, You need to accept that they have separate journeys. True. That mm. um they are not they don't they need different things. Mm. And you need to be brave enough to give each one of them what they, what they need. need. Yeah. And that's when I decided to separate yeah. them. Because you can notice that if he's feeling bad that his sister is, you know, doing more than him. Mm-hmm. And she's feeling bad that maybe yeah. other children are saying like, your brother is too loud. Mm-hmm. So, you know, both children are being affected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, when I separated them, I think it becomes more of a... Will we ever be in the same school again? I'm like, I don't know, ma'am. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But for now, I can tell you enjoy your school. Mm-hmm. And I can mm-hmm. tell he enjoys his school. Mm-hmm. And that's what matters right now. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're home, I see even the bond is mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. Because they don't see each other during the day. So when they come home, you know, they're, ah, they're, they have so much they're more... Like, I can tell you they're having sibling fights. Even though he's not talking to her. Yeah. <laughs> because they'll come, oh, you took this from me. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, fine. You people, you need to sort yeah, it out. Yeah. Either I'm taking it away, yeah, or you or learn you to share. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. We're having sibling fights. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So, and it's also, important. You, you didn't mention another something that is worth celebrating that mm-hmm. you you really pushed for. Um, she just gotten our son to a point of independence where he went for a school trip oh, on his own wow. for how many yeah. days? A week? No. Three nights. Three nights. Yeah. Wow. On his own. Three nights. And he ate. He was okay. Oh, wow. He was socialized. That's beautiful. Yeah. That doesn't seem like a lot if you have, you know, neurotypical mm. kids. But given the journey we have come from, yeah. Yeah. I would never have thought he'd be able to sleep away from mm. home. No, it is a lot because mm. I'm thinking, yeah. has, has uh, any of your kids gone to, okay, well, maybe the <laughs> first born. But mine, I'm like, please don't go anywhere. No. Spend the night yeah. without me. <laughs> no, they go. They really? Mm. Okay, gosh, I need to. Grow I think up. they just got into that age where um, you're just the provider. Oh, okay. yeah, they're like, imagine yeah, um, you get out. Yeah. 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 That's the age of yeah. the provider. Yeah. Even even wow. our son has gone to the point where there are times he just tells me like, "Yo, fam, you do your thing. I'm over here. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. 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 Just sit down." Yeah. Mm. That is yeah. beautiful. That is, that is mm. very nice. So, Chim, tell us about your journey. So, as she was going through this whole journey. Where were you? What were you thinking about? I was there, but I was a very unhappy participant. <laughs> and um, willing or unhappy? No, it's not about not being willing. Okay. It was very yeah. unhappy. Mm. Um, as I said before, when, our, when we conceived our son, I felt trapped and I lashed out. And when 
our son was born, I was late to the mm, to come to hospital, but I was that was traffic, Langata Road traffic, mm. but I was there. Mm-hmm. As we've gone through the journey, what I usually say is, um, there's a saying I really like: in matters of boots, defer to the wisdom of the cobbler. So when it comes to the kids, I usually defer to her wisdom. We yeah, have a lot yeah. of conversations, mm-hmm. a lot of consultation, mm-hmm. and there are times she tells me she feels like I burden her. <laughs> Because there are days she gets to herself yeah. and I'm calling and I'm, hey, this is happening, what's going on? This yeah. is happening, what's going on? Yeah. And one of the things that I also appreciate about her was like, look, you can't do everything I do mm-hmm. and you'll never be able, even if you are to copy what I'm doing, copy what I'm doing, it'll never be the same. Yeah. So what you will do is you will have your own journey with your children. I will facilitate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will never stand in the way. But your journey with your kids is your journey, your journey with your kids. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm. I'm also wondering now when it comes to now when she's going through, you know, the schooling issues, any other issue. Um, yes, you're saying your journey is your journey, but <laughs> how do you step in? Um, two you things. Know, you, yeah. um, we were discussing earlier, and I mentioned what what does a man bring to a situation? Provision protection, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that goes for not just the kids, but even for her, and you know it. Yeah, we've had conversations about um, other aspects of your life, and threats have been issued. Me, it's my, to who? To what? You to communicate them to your people, but let them know they know. Because I usually tell her, listen, your well-being is what impacts my children's well-being, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. My kids come and tell me. My our daughter will come and say, "I saw mom crying," oh, or gosh, "Mom yeah. was happy." You're yeah, getting. Yeah. When mom is happy, she's singing, she's dancing. Mm-hmm. When mom is upset, you think they don't see you or they can't yeah. tell. She can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I always yeah. say, you know, you have your life to live. You'll date. You might end up marrying. Whatever the case may be. As long as things don't get to a point where it affects my kids, you live your life. Yeah. The minute we cross that line, end up pig on to one. We don't do diplomacy, but you end up pig on to one. Oh boy, I'd love to hear from you about yes. that. Please tell us your side of the story. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That was the yeah. question that was asked. I just went tangentially. The way you tangent. <laughs> the way you tangent. Mm. Are you comfortable no, with that? What? As in the way he's very protective about you and uh, the children. emotions. Mm. No. As in, he spoke about you. Oh, um, right? um, okay, fine. So, what you need to understand is, <laughs> we are actually <laughs> friends. Mm. Like, we, we are not lying about it. Okay, fine. Yeah. We, we are seated on the same couch and yeah, yeah but no. But, mm. you know, we, <laughs> you've gone through so much. <laughs> <We've been laughs> yeah. I've, I've known this person mm-hmm. for a very, very, very yeah. long time. And we are friends. And I do understand that my friends are very protective of me. Mm. And he is no exception. Yeah. Um, and yes, he's very protective of me. And he's very... He checks up on me. Yeah. And at times I may not appreciate it. I'll be like, oh, come on, you're intruding on my life. Please leave me alone. Mm. Yeah. But, but yeah. I do appreciate it. Yes. At the end of the day, I do appreciate it. And I understand where he's coming from. Mm. And it's not um, in the point that he, he... Here's the thing you need to understand. He's not doing it in a point of... I am, you know, no, I am yeah. blocking you from mm. living your life. No, it's not like that. Block, block. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's not, oh my God. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, uh, this was not necessary. Um, it's not like that. Yeah. It's, it's just that he's, he's make, letting me know that if in case I ever need, well. Someone handle <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was going to say a brother, but yeah. I'm not really mm. playing yeah. this case. Mm. But you yeah. know, I, I know someone who has my back. Yeah, true. And that's a fact. Yeah. yeah. So if in case, and, and, and I'll say this, um, I, I'll give him credit. He didn't used to listen at all. Like I couldn't talk about any single topic mm-hmm. and which would end with, you know, like a conversation. Yeah. There was nothing like that. But now I'll actually call and say, I'm having this issue. Mm. Can I just get your opinion on it? Yeah. What would be a solution to yeah. it? Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, a, a good sounding board is a good sounding board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are times where he's dead wrong, but, you know, there's a good sounding board. So <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he's right. <laughs> no, he's right. Yeah. And for him to call me, 
for me to call him means I, I value yeah. Yeah. On, yeah. on certain things. Mm-hmm. So yes, so the the overprotection is a chimp thing. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It will never change. He's like this. It's, it's for the kids. It's like that. Mm. Uh-huh. For me, yeah. it's like that. For his friends, it's like that. Oh, for okay. people he values, yeah. it's like that. It's it's a chain thing, mm-hmm. and and so I know it's part mm-hmm. of the package. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So are you going to come and fight for us? That is Carol and I. I no chance. I'm a protecting that old ginger. Put a pig here. To put your number. Ah, number one. You just say I'm a pitanga. He passes by here. Do the pig a move. Oh my god. Mm. Really? Oh my god. You people think I wear this for look who? Yes. Look who? Look who? Ni kule wanjapi? Ai, you say. You say. Drop what you have been. But before we can wrap up, I have one one last question. I'm wondering if the overprotection and the friendship which I think is really really beautiful. Yeah. Your partners, your other partners, mm-hmm. how how do they take it? Mm-hmm. I use her to vet the <laughs> We are keeping the hand. Yeah. We use advert the the mama yeah, and yeah. she's usually spot on. She'll tell me this one no one laugh. Fake. <laughs> Because yeah. she used to try and tell me this one toy. In the toy in the peke angu in the cold yeah. of June July. <laughs> we will persist. We will persist. We sold her on, but I know at the end of the day, yeah. once she's told me she no. Nope, yeah. Okay. There's a point here. Yeah. It never moves beyond yeah. that. Okay. And, mm. and for okay. you um I okay. Keeping it one on a, I haven't really dated, really. I think maybe I've started trying it out in the past one year, one and a half. Um, so I, I, I'm not as far along as in his journey, mm-hmm. in my journey as he is in his. Um, but I do know that I have honestly asked him for advice on dudes. I have, mm-hmm. I, and I have. I've never been wrong about them. <laughs> Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Uh but yes, I have a uh, think about so it. It's a fuck boy. You know fuck boy. It takes the answer. So and when I roll the most of your fuck boys. Yeah. So, um Okay. So, yeah. Okay, yes. But 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 if if I do know that if I do get to the point where I'm in something very serious and mm-hmm. you know it requires introduction to him mm. and to the children and something yeah. like that then it would definitely be from a point of respect and I'll tell yeah. him mm-hmm. I need you to understand that this is chill yeah and, and you should not take offense <laughs> yeah. when you finally meet him yeah. in person yeah. please don't take offense don't take, yeah. Um, yeah yeah okay that's 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 really beautiful <laughs> Do you want to say something? Mm-mm. No, please. I can't. I can't. No, he looked as though he wanted to say something. He was strongly doing that. Oh, no, let, let it end on that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Which was really good having you. Okay. I hope we can do this again. Because I feel like there are topics we have not discussed. And I hope we can do this again. I don't know if you have any last parting shots. Mm. Parting shots. As I start, the, the reason we are here is because every decision I make is in the best interest of the children, mm-hmm. and it's in the best interest of the children yeah. if the father is willing for him to be in their lives, mm. and and that's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. Okay, Chim, any last word? <laughs> Go ahead. Don't. No. I'm a Samayote. <laughs> Anything? Um, I think this was just. Uh, it was a good show, and yeah. I, I think guys. Are happy to hear from oh yes as in your side of the story because <laughs> we always hear from his side of the story <laughs> yeah but it was really good to have you here mm. and i think if uh as listen uh listeners yeah. uh, if you'd like to hear again from our uh, one boy please let us know we'll have yeah. her back yeah anytime uh but this was a was a great um, yeah. episode yeah thank you so much for and, coming yeah and we thank wish you, you the best thank yeah you. oh yeah, yeah we do yeah. Yeah. okay Thank you everyone. So that is it. Um if you have any questions please put it in the uh chat below <laughs> and we will definitely reach out to Amboy. She will answer you. We'll bring her back. I have a feeling we will bring you back. A yeah. strong feeling yeah. that will bring you back. But that was that. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe. It is free. Follow us on our socials and see you next <clears throat> Wednesday. Okay. Peace out. Yay! 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 We are doing it.
doing this again. Hey, I'm sorry to do this again. Hey, I just want to talk to you. 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 By the way, hey, 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 that was a good one. No, that was good. That was no, he me talks a lot. But your daughter talks a lot. Where? Who's a man?